Hi there, and welcome to C3 Integrated Solutions Microsoft Office 365 Tutorials. I'm Beth Trimmer, and I'm here to show you how to organize your email in Microsoft's Outlook Web Access, also known as OWA. In this session, I'll cover how to organize your email using folders, different ways in which OWA displays and sorts your mail for you, and how to manually filter, sort, view, and search through your mail. So let's get started. First, we're going to take a look at folders. If you hang on to emails for whatever reason, this is the easiest way to keep them organized and ensure they don't get deleted accidentally. To create a folder, right-click on your name in the navigation pane, choose Create New Folder, give your folder a name, and hit Enter on your keyboard. Voila! A new folder! Note that if you want to create a subfolder instead of a folder directly under your account, you can right-click on the parent folder instead of right-clicking your name. The easiest way to move an email into a folder is simply to drag the email from the view pane and drop it onto the folder in the navigation pane. Or you can highlight the message in the view pane, click the Move menu, click Move to Folder, choose the folder you'd like to move it to, and click Move. Lastly, you can always right-click on the email and choose Move Folder from there. You probably noticed that my view pane is automatically sorted by date and time. What you might not have noticed is that it's also sorted by conversation. This is Outlook's way of keeping all of the messages, replies, and forwards in a single email chain grouped together, so you can easily see all the related information in a discussion. Conversations are displayed in OWA with a little arrow to the left of the subject. When I click on a conversation, it shows me all the emails that are part of that discussion. I can view or minimize them as needed instead of opening each individual email on its own. This is very handy for reviewing what someone mentioned earlier in the conversation or catching up on what everyone has said if you're late to the discussion. If you want to see all of the individual messages that are part of the conversation, click the little arrow to the left of the subject in the view pane. Now you can see not only the messages themselves, but when they were sent and what folder they're in. You can see which messages you sent and even which parts of the conversation you deleted or moved to other folders. Very handy. But perhaps you don't like the conversation view. That's okay, it's easy to turn off. Just click the View menu and uncheck the Use Conversations option. Now you'll see that all of my inbox messages are separated out by date and time. No more grouping via conversation. Now, I mentioned that OWA automatically sorts your messages by date and time, but what if you want to sort by something else? Just click the Arrange By button. Here you can choose From, To, subject, and many other message attributes. And if you want to sort your messages in the opposite direction, for example, displaying the oldest messages on top instead of the newest, or sorting alphabetically from Z to A, click the On Top button to flip between options. Along with sorting your messages, you can also filter them. Click the Filter menu and choose a message attribute you want to see. You can even choose more than one attribute to narrow it down further. Once you've made your filter selections, click Apply, and OWA will then display only messages that have those attributes. For example, you could filter your email so that you only see unread messages sent from your boss. You can always view what filter is applied right underneath the filter menu. To remove a filter, click the Clear Filter button. If you're looking for a specific message or piece of information, often the quickest way to find it is by searching. OWA's search functionality is awesome because it searches through everything, every folder, every conversation, every word, in every message. To search for anything at all, just type the word or phrase in the search box and hit enter. You'll see a list of everything that has that word in it. You can also click the expansion arrows to the right of the search box to narrow down your search with advanced fields. 
When you're done searching, just click the red X next to the search field and you'll be returned to your main mailbox. Well, there you have it. Everything you need to find your stuff and keep it organized in Microsoft Outlook Web Access. Check out the next tutorial in our series, Calendar in Outlook Web Access, on our YouTube channel. Or if you'd like more information about Microsoft Office 365 or C3 Integrated Solutions, check out these links. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.